This legendary signal of school pride was first introduced to Longhorn fans in 1955, and 60 years later, it's still the strongest of its kind. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on This Forgotten Day in Longhorns Football, presented by Direct Energy, November 11th, 1955, UT fans were searching for a sign of life. The team was an unranked 4-4 four four on the year, and a Thanksgiving Day tilt with 8th-ranked rival Texas A&M was on the horizon. So head cheerleader Harley Clark combined forces with Gordon Wynn of the Campus Chest, a university fundraiser for charity, to put on an old-time revival variety show at the Gregory Gym on Friday night before the TCU game. The night would begin with a torchlight parade, where red candles were lit in the windows of homes and businesses all over Austin, followed by a variety show which featured a Get the Spirit banner hung high above the back of the stage. And to close out the night was a pep rally. Thousands of students showed their school pride as Dean Arnold no Nowotny, coaches and captains gave spirited speeches. But before cutting the students loose, Harley Clark had an idea that would make this night live in Longhorn's lore for good. Now, a few days prior, his buddy, Henry H.K. Pitts, noticed that when you extend just your index finger and little finger, it looks a little bit like a Longhorn. So Harley thought, hey, A&M has their gigum hand sign. Why not introduce this to Texas fans? With the help of the cheerleading team, he introduced the Hook'em Horns hand sign to thousands in attendance, immediately declaring it the official hand sign of the University of Texas to be used whenever and wherever Longhorns gather. There was just one problem. Dean Nowotny was beside himself. Clark didn't ask permission to do this, and Nowotny responded frantically, do you know what that hand sign means in Sicily? All right, so I'll let you Google that. But the bottom line is, UT students, fans, alumni, they love it. And 60 years later, it remains an absolute phenomenon. It was voted the best hand sign in the country by Sports Illustrated in 1997. And its spread into pop culture is prevalent too. We've seen both Bush presidents hook them. Barbara Bush, Barack Obama, Vince Young on Leno. And all right, all right, all right, I'll mention him. Matthew McConaughey. Harley Clark would go on to become a well-respected Texas State District Judge. Sadly, on October 9th, 2014, he passed away at the age of 78. But we will never forget the spirit he brought back to Texas football. By the way, on that Thanksgiving day in 1955, the Longhorns would upset number eight Texas A&M 21 to six. All right, what's your favorite Longhorns football tradition? Let us know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV using hashtag ForgottenDayUT.